but most of the time it involves sword. It, it's one of those weird things where I actually think that Onimusha was like this jump from Resident Evil to Devil May Cry, and the halfway product of that was Onimusha. Right. And it's it's still... I'm not knocking it. I love the Onimusha series. So at that point, I love the fact that they did that. Because it's got Resident Evil mechanics mixed with Devil May Cry mechanics. Um, and it's enjoyable in that regard. So at that point, that's that's kind of the context. There are four games all of which are enjoyable in their own right. Except the story has kind of... It's supposed to be quasi-historical. And they've kind of taken care of all the stuff that they can go for. Unless maybe they want to do some kind of a middle story. I kind of don't want to go that way. Wizard Seal. Weird middle stories when you don't have the original developers don't work that well. The, see, the problem here is is that if they did another Onimusha game, um, been here the, oh, no. the father of Mega Man was actually partially behind that franchise. So at that point, I don't know if you want to do that because I don't know how much he wrote and how much the, uh, the other one that, that eventually took over the franchise at 4 wrote. I don't know. Mm. But there you go. What, what's your thought on it? Like, d does a collection mean that they have to have a sequel? Not necessarily. I think it would depend on the game. Mm. It could be a good sort of... Uh... I mean, for crying out loud, like, we're, we're playing a remake of Dot .hack GU. Yeah. You weren't getting it. I mean, you technically got bonus stuff, but you didn't get a, a whole new episode out of it. Damn it. Nothing's happening. What am I doing wrong? Well, actually, we did kind of get a... We did kind of get a new episode, just not a full length game, but yeah, I'm satisfied. Exactly. But I'm satisfied with what we got. The hell am I supposed to activate the power? But I think you also would have been satisfied if they the had just put out the three, yeah. In your mind. Okay. The image of summoning an avatar. Summoning an avatar. I'll summon you, avatar. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Hi, I'm over. Haseo. Hey. I don't feel like losing today. I don't either. Okay, so he didn't summon it? No, he couldn't. Here it comes. No! It'll happen just in a plot significant event. There we go. Let's just take care of this dude quick. Woo! Okay, well, we took care of the tree creature. Was that the field boss? Yeah, that was the field boss. Well, then this was worthless now, wasn't it? Because we <laughs> did summon our avatar. Haseo, are you doing okay? I said shut up! I'm concentrating. I will summon it, so just shut up and watch. He summons his avatar and it's Sasuke from Naruto. <laughs> Strangely makes sense. Haseo, you have reached your limit. Let's call it a day. What's going on? Why won't my avatar appear? Uh, well... Maybe the problem's your lack of talent. What did you say? Even if you are one of the Epitaph users, if you, the player, don't know how to use it, well, then it's pointless. Yeah, right. You two just aren't teaching me the right way. Listen, if you guys can't even keep your promise to me, then the deal that I had with GU is off. Idiot. If you can't summon an avatar, then we don't need you to help us now. Come on, Pi. That's enough. Let's just call it a day, all right? All right. Let's head back, okay? <laughs> See, I, uh, almost, I almost wanted them to get into it. Because it would have been funny if Pi just pissed him off enough that he summoned his avatar. That would have been <laughs> hilarious. It's not going to happen like that. Oh, 
more. Don't worry about it. We don't expect you to awaken that easily. Better luck next time. <sighs> anyway, just rest up for now. When you've got your stamina back, we'll give it another shot and try again. Well, see ya. Frankly, I'm glad that you weren't able to summon your avatar. Kuhn and I. Now do you understand why we needed two Epitaph users to support you? No. It's so we'll have enough power to suppress your avatar in the event it should go out of control or something. Suppress? Yes. If your avatar went berserk, we would not have hesitated to use Data Drain on you. In order to stop you. No matter what effect it may have had on you. Well, that's just cruel. Is it? Great risk comes with strength that is too powerful. Huh? Neither Kuhn nor myself can completely control the power of our avatars. Power that has escaped its user's hand will do nothing but destroy. This power really shouldn't even be used at all in the first place. So that's why you took him out to a random field. Mm -hmm. But you, you plan to use that power. Am I wrong? If you had gotten your avatar, you would be thrilled to use it. Even if it was the exact same power that hurt those that are most precious to you. You seem to know me well. Well, of course I do. It comes natural to me, don't you see? You and I are very much alike. Huh? I think it would be best if you didn't get involved in these matters anymore. Summoning an avatar won't make you happy. That I know for certain. Why do I feel like we're getting played? <laughs> You don't want me to get involved, huh? Well, for your information, if I could do that, I wouldn't be in the mess I'm in right now. You've got mail. Yay! Okay, so... I'm seeing a lot of similarities between the Xeno games as well as... as Dot Hack now. <laughs> yeah. I'm wondering if if some of the, the writing staffs intermingled at one point, because there's a lot of stuff there that feels like it could also be in a Xeno game. Like an avatar going out of control. All right, let's see what the mail is. Are we ready for a mail from Gaspard? We'll never mail be ready station. for that. Holy crap, that's a lot. To our new guild master. Fuck Congrats. you, Gaspard! I don't want that extra responsibility! Let's both do our best and make Canard the best guild around! Oh, guilds aren't exclusive, so you can join another one without having to quit Canard! Let's see, Dr. Why did I think? No, I know. Guild master, I finished registering the change for the guild master. You should get the email from CC Corp about it. Just to remind you, Canard's goal is to help out beginners by giving items support. Oh, giving them support. Uh, we don't concentrate on leveling up and stuff. What's truly important cannot be expressed with the parameters. As far as we're concerned, what's important is consideration. That's what Kuhn always used to say. CC Corp. Guildmaster change. Accepted. Acquired. Guildmaster, huh? Well, I guess I'll go to at home then. Alright. Yada. He's a person. He's the person in charge of CC Corp's Project GU. That's all I really know. I've never met him in real life. It looks like he never leaves the Serpent of Lore, but he still seems to know everything there is about the world. As for getting used to your avatar, there's no need to rush. It's not like me or Pi could use our avatar as well right away. Pi, can you tell me more about Pi? Or dot dot dot? Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, we gotta be inquisitive. Send. 
Who are you? I'm afraid you're the one who doesn't understand yourself. I'm not telling you uh, to understand everything right away. Just be aware that there are many things you don't know. I don't care what Master Yada said. Don't get too carried away. Now that you're part of GU, I won't allow you to do anything foolish. This is not a game for us. I will have... I will have you follow our directions. This is the quickest way for you to understand what you claim to be cryptic. And please stop taking your emotions out on me like a child. I would advise you to think long and hard about your goals and interests. Just curious, what do, do we know the age of Pi? Uh, yeah, I off the top of my head, I can't remember. She's like her mid, mid to late 20s or That's something. That's why they don't get along. All right, so comatose epitaph <laughs> user. Are there other players besides Sheena who fell into comas? Sure. Hi, Hi. Atali. Javi, serving Yada, Master Yada, Master Yada. Got a problem. This. <laughs> oh my gosh, she has she has the Prince Yuki crush on Master Yada. But <laughs> hey, Yuki. it's Steven Bloom. Can you can we really can we really knock her on that? I don't think we can. No. No. <laughs> that actually makes me wonder how long has Steven Bloom been doing voice acting? Long time, probably probably thirty oh, years by now. I am the guild master after all. I should check out Canards at home. I would be very surprised because a lot of people don't necessarily realize how long some some of these guys have been doing it. Oh yeah. I mean, for crying out loud, I got floored by Vic Mignogna finding out that he was like a twenty year vet. And the, the earliest I remember ever hearing Vic Mignogna was, was Full Metal Alchemist. But then somebody actually brought to my attention, he did, like, the original Robotech. So, like, he 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 was doing voice acting when my, my older siblings were interested in anime. Yeah. I'm Grunty. You're Haseo. Oh, God. <laughs> so you're the new guildmaster, huh? Boink. An NPC? My name is Death Grunty of the Grunty Race. I'm the manager of this at home. Boink. I won't accept someone like you. Boink. Huh? Managing a guild requires good instincts and talent. Boink. I'm gonna test you to see if you've got them. Boink. Okay, I'll give you two assignments. Boink. And if you can clear both of these assignments, I just might consider accepting you as the guildmaster. Oink. Here's your first assignment. Oink. Here's my Grunty first assignment, putting you in the, the box behind you. <laughs> Grunty's hat. Grunty's shoe. Grunty's brush. Why do we have to prove ourselves to a you Grunty? You cooperate with your guild members to gather these. Oink. My companions hold the sacred treasures. Oink. If you get down on your knees and beg sincerely, I'm sure you can get him to lend the treasure to a lowlife like you. Boy. My companions are wandering around the city. Hurry up and find them and bring back the sacred treasures. Boy. I don't like him. I don't like this obnoxious weird rodent at all. Really? Because he seems like you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Grunty's event started. What event are you talking about? It's the Guildmaster's certification event for our guild. When you first become a guild master, Grunty gives you an assignment. I don't want to run errands for a stupid NPC. Well, then I why are you playing an MMO? If you the event that the Grunty gave you, you'll never be able to use all of at home's features. So, what kind of trial were you given, Haseo? He told me to find some rare items. I don't think I had a trial like that. Fine, whatever. I can get those items if I just find that thing's companions in the town, right? I'll finish this up in no time. Good luck, Haseo. We're counting on you. Uh, okay, so we, we have to go work on mini Haseo. Yeah. That, that was actually going to be my next question. Is the Grunty supposed to be modeling Haseo's behavior i don't know because bottom line is he's got it down can't really complain man he's got it down so yeah here's hoping that that answers the the kind of collection argument for people um and the other thing that i found really funny was after the uh podcast we recorded 
Uh, some people thought I was being way too hard on, on Konami for their collection announcement. Yeah. Thoughts on that? I don't know where you've been, people, but Konami's. <laughs> uh, have you not heard all the shenanigans of Konami? Apparently, I was I was too hard because I my my constant argument was basically that you could get Welcome the games the elsewhere. Twilight, Taseo, Nero. Yeah, I guess that's true. I have been waiting for you to come here for a long time, Nero. <laughs> And right now, I can see through your clothes, Nero. Speechless, Nero. Hmm. I know just what it is that you're looking for, Nero. It is not that hard for me to guess, Nero. Go on and take this with you, Nero. Thanks. Now go and be well, Nero. Well, the the other thing that you guys have to consider is, is simply this: like, for a collection, you have to offer a lot of stuff. And considering that that, for example, Contra and Castlevania have been around since the arcade NES era, um, and the games that you're offering are available in other places and for fairly cheap. Mm -hmm. It feels like the river is sucking in my soul. Who are you? It's so beautiful and peaceful. Who are you? My grandma said that there's a palace for fishes at the bottom of the water. Oh, you. I'm sure there are canned tuna and smoked salmon swimming happily there. Oh, you. I want to go. Pew, you. Hmm? Huh? You want something? Who are you? I think I smell death grunty on you. Oh, you. The smell tells me that you want something. Who are you? You want this, right? Who are you? Well, goodbye. Who are you? That's not Muyu, that's Mellow. <laughs> oh, I want to go to the Palace of Fishes. Who are you? Just thinking about it makes me drool. Who are you? I'm glad you're drooling. <laughs> that was S Sandy Fox. It was the princess of all you can eat. <laughs> You, you, you mean uh, the, the take it back, you little turd? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that line. <laughs> please, please, sir little turd. <laughs> Calm it down. Uh, trust me, we haven't even gotten deeper into that game. There, there's a lot of a lot of really great humor in it. So there you go. But yeah, hopefully that that takes care of the whole guys. We're all hard on Konami at this point. We all think that they could do better. I mean, for crying out loud, like one of the things me and Bromney mentioned in the Silent Hill playthrough was um, they really should because if you think about it, like a lot of the collections that Konami has has announced have been bad. All right. They've had to have fixing again today. <laughs> How sad. <laughs> How romantic. <laughs> and with myself standing in the twilight, I am the ultimate man. <laughs> Hey, you're pretty manly yourself, <laughs> but you're no match for me. <laughs> I get it. You're laughing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you want to obtain my manliness for yourself? <laughs> sure. <laughs> There's always room to be even more manly. <laughs> Acquired Grunty's hot. First, you need to work hard until the sunset has burned itself into your eyes. <laughs> okay. Finally got the third one. Man, what an annoying event. I just have to give these items to Death Grunty. But yeah, what we were saying, and, and actually, we actually we got a legit Silent Hill fan to kind of agree with us. Um, most of the Konami collections that get put out are broke. Like, they, they need some work. And one of the perfect examples is the Silent Hill collection, yeah. not, which comes with two and three, where they intentionally took out it for the sake of updating everything to HD. They took out all the atmospheric elements that makes it scary. Oh, yeah. Like all the fog and yeah, stuff like that. They, or they, they brightened it where it should have been darker. Yeah. Um, and so at that point, I mean, yeah, that needs to be fixed. And and so Silent Hill should get a fix so that those two games are have their elements intact. You're late. Oink. What took you so long? You're as slow as a pig. Oink. Come on. Hurry up and give me the sacred treasures. Oink. Here, I'll give you this in exchange. Oink. 
Weird black teeth. Here is your second assignment. Oink. Sell that item with the help of your guild members. Oink. Now get going. Oink.